The history of chemistry goes back thousands of years and is pretty interesting. In fact, the alchemist might be among the greatest and smartest con men of all time. It's a great story. But for our purposes, we start much later in history with the work of John Dalton. His model of the structure of matter marks the beginning of modern chemistry. Today we know he missed the mark on a couple of his assertions, but his basic model still serves as a simple way to understand much of the physical universe. Just as important as the details he proposed, we can focus on the building of a physical model. In simplest terms in science, a physical model gives us a means of understanding observations and experiments. A scientific model lists what is thought to be true in simple physical terms. It's a way to carry in our head a collection of ideas and concepts that are easy to apply and understand. We use these models to explain what we see and expect to see and modify them as they fail or place more trust in them as they are seen to work. Dalton's model of atomic structure consists of four basic assertions or postulates. He asserts these four ideas to be true and then uses the statements to understand and plan experiments where they either work to explain results or they fail. Let's consider these assertions one at a time. 1. Matter is composed of small, indivisible particles called atoms. That word indivisible is important. It means that the atom cannot be cut into pieces or broken down into smaller components. Today we know that is not true. Today we know there is a world of structure within an atom. It can be divided into protons, electrons, and neutrons. Beyond that, high energy physics shows us that those pieces can be divided further. Quarks, charms, leptons, and so on. But as a model in chemistry, assertion one allows us to begin to understand that all objects in our physical world are made of atoms linked together in some way, and that molecules are relatively easily deconstructed down into atomic pieces. So while incorrect, as a model, assertion one is still very useful. That's an important lesson in science. As long as we understand a model's shortcomings, it can still be useful in many applications. 2. All atoms of the same element are identical and have the same properties. Again, modern understanding shows us that a collection of atoms of the same element can contain a variety of isotopes of that element. So strictly speaking, all the atoms are not identical. They differ only in their mass, and even with that, differ only slightly. But again, this is a detail that usually does not make the model useless. Unless one is specifically considering the property of radioactivity, assertion two of Dalton's model is very useful for understanding the structure of matter. Three, chemical compounds are composed of atoms of different elements combined in small whole number ratios. This is the major success of the model. It follows from assertion one, atoms are indivisible, so the ratios must be small whole numbers. But the important concept is that atoms group together to form larger, more varied compounds. This idea still serves us well today. 4. Chemical reactions are merely the rearrangement of atoms into different combinations. This is another way of saying that matter is neither created nor destroyed, but also the way atoms are linked together is dynamic. The links and the ratios can be changed in a chemical reaction. This physical model Dalton's atomic theory as it has come to be known is simple to remember and understand. That makes it easy to apply. It is an example of the way science is done. Models are constructed and applied and then modified or refined if needed. Physical models provide a means to understand the things we cannot see because they allow us to construct pictures in our head.